Good morning, everybody. George Salamis, President and CEO of Integra Resources. Uh, it is Thursday, October 21st. I'm really happy to be uh, showing you a brand new set of drill results from uh, the Delamar project in southwestern Idaho. We've been talking uh, almost the entire year about Florida Mountain. We've been talking almost the entire year about the uh, pre-feasibility study that's on the go uh, or areas like Black Sheep, for example. But today uh, it's all about the Delamar deposit itself and specifically this area called Sullivan Gulch, which some of you might remember from the past, had some incredible drill intercepts, gold and silver from the past. So we decided to go back into this area to collect sample material for some met holes. And we actually got a pretty big surprise in the course of it. Um, so I'll take you through that and I'll take you through these results and what they mean. Um, basically, the headline, which I'm gonna to read to you is the headline of today, today's news release. Uh, Integra intersects 1.51 grams per ton gold equivalent over 160.33 meters. Uh, another whole 1.5 grams per ton gold equivalent over 115.52 meters. And there's also some high grade in there, 12.85 uh, gram per ton gold equivalent over 5.29 uh, meters. And uh, really exciting results for us today. And it's my job today to uh, ensure that you walk away knowing what the significance of these results really is. But before we go there, I'm just gonna situate you geographically for some of you who are first timers to the Integra resource story. There's Boise up in the northwestern corner of uh, the project area for us to drive to site. It's a pretty easy hour and 45 minute drive to, towards the southwestern part of Idaho uh, and then along a secondary road into the Delamar project area, which was this fantastic uh, past producer of gold and silver. Uh, the two areas of focus of late have been the Delamar deposit here from where these results come from today. That's 3.3 million ounces of gold equivalent. Uh, the Florida Mountain Deposit as well, 1.1 million ounces of gold equivalent. Both of those low sulfidation epithermal deposits have been the focus of various studies which are leading up to the PFS, pre-feasibility study, which is due out in the next six or eight weeks from now. Um, some really exciting results to come, but today it's all about exploration results uh, from the Delamar site itself. So just kind of moving on from there and focusing on the two resource areas. Again, this is a zoom in on the two deposits, the two main deposits, Florida Mountain and Delamar separated by about five kilometers of distance, as you can see there. And now zooming in onto the Delamar deposit area itself, this is a really big system. And uh, you know, so we sometimes forget, we can talk a lot about Florida Mountain and its attributes, but Delamar itself is huge. It's over two kilometers in length. Uh, it's got some intercepts and some thicknesses that are just astounding. You know, sometimes in some cases up to 200 meters in past oil intercepts that we put out here. Some really thick uh, intervals of gold and silver mineralization come from the Delamar deposit itself. But today we're gonna focus on one specific part and that is the Sullivan Gulch area here on the southeastern tip of the deposit area itself. Um, and focus specific on the blue mineralization that you see here. This blue mineralization here, I'm just gonna pull out this out, uh, is specifically the, what we call the unoxidized mineralization, gold and silver, or the sulfide zone, AKA the sulfide zone. Um, but in particular, focus the attention on this really big slug of blue that you see here. That is Sullivan Gulch and some of the thickest intercepts that we've had uh, to date have come from this area. So we decided to drill a couple of holes into this part of Sullivan Gulch in an effort to collect more sample material because some of this material, um, does not fall into the PFS uh, mine plan. It will fall potentially into future studies subject to more metallurgical work. But we decided to put some drill holes down um, to collect some sample material. And we came back with some really positive surprises. And I'm going to uh, show you what those look like in a second. But now zooming in uh, or zooming out as it were on some of the infrastructure, here's the Delamar uh, main pit from the PA study that was done just over two years ago. There is the Sullivan Gulch pit, which is on the southeastern end. And you can see some of the locations of heap leach pads, for example, crushing sites, et cetera, per the PA. Some of this is gonna change locations coming up um, in the upcoming PFS, but really today it's about expiration results. And zooming in on those two pits that I pointed out earlier, that blue uh, mineralization that falls into those two pits is essentially the sulfide that was falling into 
the PEA mine plan, essentially, from the study that was done two years ago. Not a lot of it, as you can see there. There's going to be more of it in the upcoming PFS. But really interesting today is the location of these met holes that we drilled um, on the uh, Sullivan Gulch uh, end of the Delamar deposit. And we're going to zoom into those right now and show you what they look like. So what we're looking at now is the Sullivan Gulch uh, deposit from the southeast looking towards the northwest. And again, a lot of this blue mineralization that you see here was not included in the PFS. Some of it will be included in the PFS, but not all of it. But certainly this deeper part that you see here was not included in um, the upcoming PFS. It will not be. However, we have a sense that the metallurgy here will be amenable to uh, treatment on site. And so we decided to collect some more sample material to do that. And we came up with these stellar results that you see here. These red uh, zones that basically um, start well above where we thought the boundary of mineralization was. And in fact, this shows that the mineralization is in fact much thicker than we thought in this part of the deposit. And just again, to read you off some of these intercepts here, um, 1.51 grams per ton gold over 160.33 meters. Um, one gram per ton gold equivalent over 1.24, uh, 124 meters. And there's some really spectacular high grades in and amongst there. If you zoom in, and I'll try and get this centered for you if I can to show you some of these intercepts. But, you know, they are, in fact, some of them are quite spectacular, as you can see there for yourself. 339.87 grams per ton silver, uh, 4.5 grams per ton gold over 4.57 meters. And you can see there's some really spectacular grades of gold and silver. There are some 300s and 400s of silver spe specifically there. So um, there's a lot of silver uh, in this part of the deposit. In fact, there's a lot of silver in this deposit, both these deposits, about 120 million ounces of silver total endowment uh, per the last um, resource estimate that we did. So. Really interesting. This deposit, this part of Delamar is obviously going to grow bigger subject to more drilling. And we're going to try and get it into a future study sometime, perhaps even next year if we can. But really what this shows is uh, upside to, uh, to resources and upside to potential production profiles uh, beyond the PFS that we're going to be putting out uh, later on this year. And here's just the totality of holes that we drilled in the Sullivan Gulch area with the yellow being the gold and silver intercepts um, relative to, to everything else um, that we've drilled out on the project so far. And now um, for those of you uh, geology nuts who, who really like to see drill core, I'm a geologist, I'm, I like this stuff. Uh, this is the main host rock of the Sullivan Gulch area. It's a porphyritic rhyolite unit. As you can see, it's really well brecciated. A lot of breccia infill with silica, um, sulfide mineralization. In fact, when you see this kind of level of veining, it's typically indicative of, of higher grade gold and silver results. And uh, here's a second view of what some of that, um, that mineralization looks like in, I believe this is, would be the latite unit um, part of the Sullivan Gulch deposit. You can see there's a lot of sulfide, a lot of leaves of sulfide all over the place there. And uh, now just kind of departing, just to kind of round things up here and talk about where we're drilling at the moment, in fact, um, the War Eagle area, which is an area where we have a drill uh, parked on the site and it's drilling away just to situate you again geographically. Sullivan Gulch we've been talking about is situate, situated right there. There's Florida Mountain and there's War Eagle off in the distance. Um, distance between these deposits is essentially five kilometers as you can see there. But just to kind of zoom in on the type of mineralization that we're drilling off as we speak right now at the War, War Eagle area, you can see some really uh, stellar intercepts that we've drilled from uh, 2019 and 2020, some spectacular high grades. We're essentially looking on strike and down plunge from where we've intercepted this mineralization previously. So just to kind of summarize things, just to end it off here, some spectacular results out of um, Sullivan Gulch, very much indicative that this part of the deposit is clearly gonna get much bigger with, a, with more drilling obviously to be done in uh, next year. And then we've got the PFS study coming out mid to late November, and then more exploration results to come before the PFS and after the PFS, because we've got such a backlog of, of assays that are, that are due to hit us um, with lots of news. So on that note, I uh, hope you're as happy as I am. These are great results and uh, catch up with you later. Thanks. Mm -hmm.